Would you please introduce yourselves? My dog is the town mayor. My dog is the town mayor. <laughs> My dog is the town mayor. Uh, all right, here is this dog's story in its owner's words. My dog is the town mayor. After a hard-fought election campaign, I'm proud to say my dog was voted into office. The next step was to build a cabinet, which included me as chief of staff and our other two dogs as loyal deputies. Oh, God. <laughs> Together, we serve the community, and our manifesto is to spread unconditional love and carry out as many good deeds as possible. Everyone in our town knows who is top dog. <laughs> one of these people is the owner of the town mayor, and they are the only one who has been sworn to tell the truth. Please take a seat. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Chris, we're going to start the questioning with you. I was hoping there would be a other races than white because i would know to narrow that out because this is definitely a white person thing uh, <laughs> what i want to know is is there a, like a separate part of the house or a mayor's mansion or a dog house or do they just live with you number one the mayor lives with me he does have an office and he travels and meets people in his mayor mobiles okay, okay. I, I got a question mm -hmm. i want to know what small town is this out of wild california what about you number two danville california and three little rock california i never heard of none of them <laughs> number three is this like an honorary mayoral position this french bulldog is not making real life decisions um she is the honorary mayor yes okay i want to know did she run against a human uh, she did not. She ran against other animals. Okay. Was, was it like, like what other animals? Was it like a horse in there? Cause I... <laughs> um, in our campaign, it was just dogs for this one. Just dogs? Okay. Yeah. So I was like, if it was a horse, it could be, it'd be a real dog and pony show. That's why you brought him on. That's why he's here. All right, so number one, does your dog like being the mayor? Yeah, he loves it. Well, he doesn't look it. Look at him. He's very relaxed right now. Yeah. Uh, number two, same question. He loves being a mayor because he loves spreading happiness everywhere he goes. And, and we realized how unhappy people were with the politics that are going on right now. And we felt like we could make a bigger difference by getting involved in politics. What is happening? What is happening? Honestly, honestly, that dog should be the mayor. I don't care. That answer was great. Right. So all three of you, starting with number three, are there any party affiliations with these animals? Um, we just consider ourselves progressive. Okay, number two. Mayor Yum Yum is a member of the Puppy Party. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> the mayor is independent and does not take sides. Oh, he doesn't. Number three, what does the dog do all day? We do a lot of fundraising. She gets her picture taken a lot. She does high fives to people. Cute. That's pretty much it. This is for number three, but the dog go. Are you going to go for re-election? <laughs> yes, we are going to try to I'm go for re-election. I'm to oh, the sorry. dog. <laughs> Number three, what's the name of your dog? Mayor Bridget. Okay. Number one. Mayor Max. Mayor Max. No. Number two, what's the name again? Mayor Yum Yum. <laughs> Mama, what's your favorite kind of dog? Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time's up. Let's see who the panel thinks is the real canine town mayor. Panelists, it's time to write down your answers. Hey. Hey. Uh oh. Uh, shake his hand. Shake hey. his hand. See if he'll shake it. Shake? No? Oh. Oh! Shake. He gave five. Mother, who do you think is telling the truth? Hey, by the way, he gave him five, number three. All right, who do you think it is? Three, one. What did it say? Number three, yeah. Rhea, who do you think is telling the truth and why? You know, my first instinct is this very casual lady here. However, leave it to me not to follow my instincts, and I say number three. Number three. <laughs> Frank, who do you think is telling the truth and why? I got to tell you, man, this was rough. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> there was something about the way 
the, the number one dog is like he came out ready to take care of business. <laughs> he's like looking around like, what's going on here? So I'm going to go with number one. Number one. <laughs> Oliver, who do you think is telling the truth and why? I'm with Craig. She's just like, when are we going to be done so I can get back to Idlewild? I'm going number one. <laughs> My first instinct was number three. When I went up to the dog, he, he gave me a little bit of a, you know, put his hand up to shake it. She said he does that. His hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paul. Politician. Uh, yeah. Paul Politician. Paul Politician. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And he seems to be real chill, just hanging out. And the other one looks like he wants to get away. And I just feel like that's not very mayoral. That's true. <laughs> that's true. I went number three. <laughs> All right, it's the moment of truth. Will the real owner of the town mirror please stand up? <laughs> please introduce yourself to the panel. My name is Phyllis Mueller. I'm the chief of staff for the mayor of Idlewild, and he is the mayor. Well, you got some pictures of me up there. That's okay, so cute. Max for mayor. Vote at the post office. Okay, look at it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, I to that shot. <laughs> <laughs> and pops number two. How are you? Please introduce yeah. yourself to our panel. I am Shauna Olson, and my man is not the mayor of my town, but I think he could definitely do a better job than some people in office right now. All right. <laughs> number three, please introduce yourself to our panel. Hi, my name is Sarah Clifford, and my dog, Bridget, is not the mayor, but she did play Stella on Modern Family. Oh. 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 Yes, it is. Oh. There we go. All right, time for a quick break. The mayor has...